Hello YouTube. Just a little quick video here of a circuit board I've had down my shed for a bit of uh, for quite a while. A bit of time. It's damaged some of the components. The surface mounted stuff is all stripped off. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. It'll be interesting to get it running again. Looks like it took three power supplies. You've got one connector there, one there, and one just there. CPUs are quite interesting as well. Huge things. Uh, socket 8 type CPU. The RAM sticks are slightly different from the old style RAM. Uh, if I try and slot one in here, there's a, even a spider living in it, or oh, a dead one anyway. If I try and slot this in here, you'll see it just doesn't line up. Whether it's a different type of RAM, I'm not sure. Actually, better this way around. There we go. Again, with the focus, you can see it just doesn't just just doesn't fit. You can get one side in, but the other side won't go in. The gaps are just slightly off, not by much, just a little bit. The reason why I brought it back up from out the shed was uh, a couple of these capacitors hanging off, as you can see there. It's you know. Like I say, it's it's in terrible condition. It it won't won't ever run again. But I was going to take all these capacitors off and use them for spare parts. It's a bit of a shame to let them all disappear, especially when you can get them off here for for free. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, that's about it. I'll just post up a little bit of the video at the end and show you with all the capacitors removed. Well, there we go. That's all the good stuff removed off it. Uh, well, capacitor-wise, anyway. Some resistors. Uh, oh, that's nice. A little LED just here. I'll take that off as well. But other than that, yeah, I think that's about it, really. You can see what I mean, look. The bits are just falling off. It's, uh, it, it really was damaged. Uh, something must have scraped along it and pushed it, but oh well. You can see how many capacitors over there I've got. A few. So yeah, that's about all that's worthy of uh, saving off it anyway. Got the CPU. Where did I put the CPU? Uh, over here, look. There we go. It's a huge thing. Intel Pentium Pro. Is that Pro? Yeah, Pro. 1994 to 1996. I mean, no idea what the uh, clock rate of it is. Uh, made in Malaysia. KB80521 EX200 uh, um, Then it says on another line SL22Z 512K which I'm guessing is a memory size Is that the cache of it? Level 2 cache could that be? Not sure. I don't know. Oh, it told you up here. Well, it's on the same number that I just read out. Yeah. Could be alright. I don't know. Mount it on my wall or something. Yeah. Keep it as a paperweight or something. I don't know. Make a nice little uh, a heat pad. Stop you, stop, stop you uh, from getting your desk scorched or something like that. Don't know what it's worth. I'll have a look on eBay or something, see if it's worthy of, uh, of selling. Uh, I guess if anybody wants it who lives local to me, they can come and collect it from me if they want. Don't think I'd need it. Not on a motherboard like this, anyway. I say it's old technology now. Oh well. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching, guys. This is a uh, component salvage. It's what you do when you've not really got much money. You 
nick all the components off everything else. I mean, these capacitors aren't much. They are, what's that? There's um, 3,900 microfarads, uh, rated at 6.3 uh, 6 volts. So it could be good for LED circuits. The other ones are, I think, 16 volts. Yeah, 16 volts, uh, 1,800 microfarads. Yeah, there's a couple of other small ones running around. What are these guys? These are 1000 microfarads at 6.3 volts. So, yeah, be ideal for LED circuits and things like that. Uh, could make a dimming circuit with them, use them as the uh, capacitance. We'll see. I've got another thing to take all the components off here as well. I'll just move that out of the way. Let's go here, look. Lots and lots of nice transistors on it. It came off an old inverter. Um, uh, APC, is that American Power Company, is it? I'm not sure. Um, inverter, something died on this somewhere. I don't know what died on it, but something did. And uh, whenever you switched on, it just kept beeping at you. Uh, I've already nicked the big capacitor off it. I did that last year, I think it was. Like I say, it's been in my shed for ages. Nice choke there. Is that a choke? Looks like a choke. Doesn't look like a transformer. But it could be. I don't know. What's that? Is that a fuse? Oh, no. Big capacitor, sorry. Relays. Lots of relays on it. I wonder if there's any 12 volt ones. That would be nice. Oh, 24 volts. That's not bad. Close enough. Plenty of small components on it. Not really interested in the resistors, but the capacitors are nice. So they're always nice for this small uh, breadboard when you're making uh, circuits up. These really small capacitors are great. Um, the ceramics are good as well. So there's some nice uh, transistors on it. But you don't know if it's the transistors themselves that's gone. All I know is, is was that it beeped a lot. And I checked all the fuses over and they're all fine. And Everything else went inside here with me tester, trying to fix it, but it wouldn't have it. So that'll be the next thing to uh, to butcher. Strip all these relays off it, and transformers. Yeah, I'll leave those. Don't really need transformers. Yeah. Anyway, it's M6 JDM, um, John Dragon Man. Yeah. Peace out, guys.